0.80 Kelvin. Greetings all and welcome to Zero Kelvin. If you haven't checked your spam folder in a while, you might have missed this email from Realusion stating that as of June 15th, they will no longer be supporting the iRay plugin. This means that new customers will not be able to buy it and existing customers will get no support for it if it breaks. You know, one example of this is the uh, the new facial wrinkle system which does not show up in IRA renders unfortunately and there's no plans to fix that because they've discontinued support it's a bummer so our new alternative to this is to use omniverse which is a free suite of tools by nvidia that allows for working collaboratively which is pretty cool Unfortunately, it does mean learning yet another 3D environment, namely Omniverse Create. To render with it, we will have to do a live link to it in a similar fashion that we would to Unreal Engine. I have to admit that I'm a complete newbie at Omniverse, but having no clue about something never stopped any YouTuber in history from making a video about it anyway, and I'm no exception. Okay, seriously though, I... I need to set up Omniverse on this new computer and link it to iClone 8. So I figured while I do it, I'd record my journey and share it with you. This is just going to be the basics of setting it up. I'll share more about using Omniverse for iClone rendering um, later on when I actually know what I'm doing. But for now, let's grab a cup of coffee and get started. In iClone 8, you go to Plugins, Omniverse, and you should see a menu item to know more about Omniverse, which sounds like a good start to me. So clicking that takes you to a real illusion page about Omniverse. And then if you click the link live sync between iClone and Omniverse, uh, that brings us to a forum page about it. And then finally, after all that hopping, we get a link to the manual. Uh, the manual tells us to use uh, Hub to make sure that we're on the latest version of iClone. Check. Now it's telling us we need Nucleus and Cache. So let's hunt them down. The easy way to do this is to Google Omniverse and install it from the website. At some point in the process, you will probably have to create a NVIDIA account if you don't already have one. Installing it is pretty straightforward. If you have a separate disk drive for your media files, like I do, uh, you can change the default locations during installation. Okay, cool. If we check our library, we see the cache is already installed. Um, what you'll quickly learn is that Omniverse isn't like one thing. It's this giant pool of components and apps that you can kind of cobble together to do whatever you need it to do. So, um, so anyway, the instructions also say that we need Nucleus. Um, I see that we already have a Nucleus tab, but if we search the Exchange, which is sort of like an app store, we see there that there's a Nucleus Navigator. I don't know if that's needed or not. Hint, it is. But um, it can't hurt to have it anyway. Now it looks like we need Omniverse Create, which is the main application that we'll be using later on. We can find that in Exchange as well. Lastly, the instructions say we need iClone Connector, which is still in beta as of today. Um, searching for Reillusion in Exchange shows us connectors for Character Creator 3 and 4, and iClone 7 and 8. So I'm going to download the two newer ones. So now it comes to the kind of shifty part. Uh, in following along with the manual and watching the videos, it seems we should have a local host server set up, but it isn't. So let's try to fix that. It seems we do this from the Nucleus Navigator. So it looks like it was a good idea that we installed it after all. If we launch it, we get an option to create a local server, which sounds like just a ticket to me. It then asks you to confirm the data location and also to make an admin account for the new server. This can and should be something different than your NVIDIA account. 
After creating the local server, it still wasn't working for me. I tried restarting create to no avail. After messing around with it for some time, I found that navigating to the Nucleus menu at the top of the Omniverse Navigator seemed to trigger it to work. My guess that um, doing that started up the local server. At any rate, it somehow magically started working. So now, um, now that it is working, let's set up a link between the two programs. You will want to go to the Layer tab, click on Root Layer, and change the world axis to Z and the time codes per second to 60. You might as well delete the default ground too while you're at it. Now let's save our project. So to do that, go to File, Save As, and choose our project folder on the local host server that we created. Uh, we then give it a name and click Save. Now we need a link to this project to feed to iClone. So for that, we navigate to our recently saved project, right click on it, and choose Copy URL Link. Now over in iClone, we can click the Omniverse connector icon. If you don't have it, you can add it here. After clicking it, we paste in the URL from before and click OK. We are almost linked now. We just have to do one more thing in Omniverse. We need to click on the Live button up at the top. This shows that there is already a Reillusion session going on with me as a participant. That's the session we literally just created a second ago in iClone. To link the two programs, we just need to join that session by clicking Join. Simple. We can confirm that the two are linked by setting both programs to the preview camera and then changing the view inside of iClone. You should see the camera is uh, updated live. If this is working, you are completely allowed to do a dance of joy at this point. So go ahead. Getting our assets into Create is also easy. Simply select the objects you want in the viewport, the Scene tab, or the Omniverse menu, and click this button here to send them over. The graphics look like poo right now, but this is mostly down to lighting problems that we will fix in a moment. For now, let's see an animation. If we apply an animation to our character in iClone and press play, we see that it updates live in Create, which is cool. If we want, we can also transfer this animation over to our character inside of Create so that it won't have to run over the link. I'm not 100% sure at this point, but I believe that you need to do this if you want to render out animations. Anyway, to do this, um, let's show our timeline in Create and uh, give it a few more frames. And then over in iClone, we select our character and press this button here. Done. So that's really the basics of it. You can update and transfer other things like lights from Omniverse uh, using the Live Sync menu. It doesn't seem to transfer the HDRI, but if you look at the properties for the dome object, you can load one into the texture file property and then choose not to see it in the scene if you want by deselecting the visible in primary ray checkbox. There are other rendering modes here too, as well. Uh, the default is the RTX real time, but uh, you know we can switch to the interactive path tracing to get a slower but nicer result. It seems there's also the RTX accurate, which is sort of I guess iRay option, but this one was working like crap for me, so I'll have to figure out what the deal with that is later. I'm also not sure how to turn subdivision. Uh, surface on uh, for objects to smooth them out just yet, um, but I'll be figuring that out soon. Um, you, so, you know, right now you can kind of see that the edges of our character look 
kind of janky because of that. Something else to look up, I guess. So that seems pretty cool. Um, but how do we export a render now? It looks like the easiest option is to go to Animation, Rendering, and pick Movie Capture. This will probably show up as a floating window the first time, but you can dock it over here like this. It's got all the expected list of options, uh, you know, and then if you scroll down at the bottom, you can capture the current frame uh, to do a still render, or you can do the whole sequence, you know, so pretty self-explanatory. So let's capture the current frame and look at it. So this first one is the iRay version. You can see it doesn't look so hot. I got to figure out what's going on with that. The real-time version was rendered instantly and looks okay. I think the real-time render inside of iClone might still be better in most cases, but mm, you'll have to play around with that. Then we have the path tracing version, and this only took about 15 seconds, and it looks respectable considering I have no idea what I'm doing. So I have a feeling this path tracing, tracing version will probably be the one I'll use most because it's gets, you know, close to iRay level rendering at a much quicker rate. So seems pretty good to me. So I guess that's a good place to end for today, actually. Um, I'm going to continue to learn how to use Create and, you know, see if I can get things like physics to work so the hair moves as it should. Um, I have no idea how that works, but, you know, it should be fun. Uh, but that's definitely something for another day. For now, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, and uh, I hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you again in the next video, guys. Cheers. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.